We begin with the breaking news, something just revealed that very few people anticipated in the Democratic mayoral primary. The first round of ranked choice voting puts Eric Adams in the lead with a razor-thin margin. Catherine Garcia not far behind. CBS 2's political reporter, Marsha Kramer, is live in the newsroom with the latest on this, Marsha. Well, Dana, the day after election night, Catherine Garcia's team put out a huge position paper saying she still had a path to victory. And the preliminary round of ranked choice voting results show they may have been right. She's jumped into second place, but with 130,000 absentee ballots still out there, we're still waiting for final results, and anything can happen. I am incredibly proud of the campaign we run. You know, one of the best things about ranked choice voting is that you can run a really positive campaign. Catherine Garcia made a calculated decision near the end of the Democratic mayoral primary to campaign with Andrew Yang. It apparently paid off, at least for now. Preliminary results of the first round of ranked choice voting from the votes cast on Election Day and early voting have Eric Adams with 51.1 percent of the vote, Garcia with 48.9 percent. 15,908 votes separate the two. I'm excited about what we did. Uh, you know, we're still, we're not, we're not counting any chickens yet until all this vote is counted. But because there are still more than 130,000 absentee ballots to be counted, Maya Wiley, who placed second on election night, could still pull off a win. But Eric Adams is raising questions about the Board of Elections calculations, pointing out that it included 100,000 more votes than on election night. We have asked the Board of Elections to explain such a massive increase in other irregularities before we comment on the ranked choice voting projections. We remain confident Eric Adams will be the next mayor of New York City, the campaign said in a statement. Meanwhile, Board of Elections workers began counting those election-deciding absentee ballots today. The campaigns will be watching closely to determine where the absentee ballots came from, not only what borough, but what parts of each borough. Even before the apparent cliffhanger results were announced, Mayor de Blasio had this advice for both voters and the candidates. Uh, patience and faith. Mayor de Blasio pointing out that the new voting system had worked well, saying that waiting a few more weeks for the final results is fine. We knew it would take a while for the full count. The important thing to remember here is, unlike the past with a September primary, when you have a June primary, the fact that this is taking a little while to sort out is not going to cause any major dislocation. We'll know soon. A spokesman for Adams tells me he is perplexed by the changing vote totals and is waiting for an explanation. The Board of Elections did not return calls seeking comment. Live in the newsroom, I'm Marsha Kramer, CBS 2 News. Marsha, thank you.